I'm going to mute everyone. I'm going to allow you, I'm going to give you the, a privilege to unmute yourself. So when it's your turn to talk, unmute yourself. I'm not going to touch it. You unmute yourself and then mute yourself back. Because if not, it doesn't, it doesn't take you off the screen when somebody else starts talking. Okay, so I'm going to mute all. Allow participants to unmute themselves, yes. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> Speaker view. And what am I going to do? Share live. Okay, and if somebody can, while I, once I go live, because I'm going to start the intro, if they can share to our event page and then also share from my personal page to our savvy page, that would be great. Um, Aubrey, can you do that? Yes, okay. New speed next. It's preparing to go live. All right, guys, welcome to our Kids and Oils class. My name is Lisa Lazat, and we are so excited to have you here. Um, a lot of us on this class have gotten started with oils, whether recently or a while ago, and we are excited to bring you a class, how we use oils, essential oils for our kids. Um, and I have several friends on here with me that are going to be sharing as well. So first of all, let me just say that we are not doctors. We do not claim to be. We are just moms, aunts, grandmas that have been trying to live a less toxic lifestyle and incorporating oils and natural remedies into our life to um, to better our, better our health. And we want to bring information to our friends, and so that's why we do classes like these. Um, so first of all, the main question that people have. And um, my friend Kathy's gonna go back over these at the end of our class. But the main question people have, especially moms when they first get started, is are essential oils safe for my kids? Well, when used with proper guidelines, yes, they are very safe. There's a lot of confusion out on the internet, um, which you can do lots of research and um, we just like to you go by our own experience and the experience that we share with each other. We love to share our testimonies and our stories. And yeah, have we like tried things along the way and we're like, oh, that didn't work. Yes, exactly. Um, and it's more of like a just a trying as you go, see what works your, with your family. But yes, you can definitely use essential oils for your kids of all ages. And I'm going to go over um, some dilution guidelines. And when I say dilution, I mean using a carrier oil. Pairing your essential oils, which are the lifeblood of the plant, it brings the plant to life, basically, and it keeps the plant living. And it, you, the essential oils, when a plant is injured, the essential oils go to that part of the plant and start to regenerate and to heal that plant. Well, we can take those essential oils and apply them to our bodies and experience the same benefits that the plants experience from their own essential oils. All right, so when we say dilute your essential oils, we mean pair your essential oils up with a fatty carrier oil. So a fatty carrier oil is something like cooking oil, um, olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, all those different fatty oils, okay? So you're, you might think, well, I have kids of different ages. How 
do I dilute them? We have a dilution guide that I'm going to share with you right now. And you can take a screenshot of this um, dilution guide. We're also going to put it in our event page. So basically six months to two years, you're going to want to use one drop of essential oil in one tablespoon of carrier oil. Okay. Um, two to six years, you're going to dilute about a fourth of the label on the label recommendation. Okay. Now you can get really specific about this, or you can just use your, your own judgment. Um, I know for a lot of us, um, some of us do dilute our oils. Some of us may not dilute certain oils, but when you're first getting started, we recommend diluting all of your oils, do using one oil at a time, seeing how it reacts on your child's skin. The feet are the best place to start applying essential oils. Um, seven to 11 years old, you only need to dilute about half the recommended amount. And then 12 years and up, you can use the full labeled concentration. So um, that means they're, you're basically using it um, if it does need, if it's a hot oil, meaning it's hot when applied to your skin, oils like thieves, peppermint, oregano, those are all hot oils. And they should be used with dilution always, even if you are an adult or a child. Now those hotter oils, we recommend not using them under any, anybody who is under six years of age, maybe even 10 years of age. So you're gonna have to definitely use your mother judgment and test the oils out first um, on their feet and see how they react with each different oil. All right, so we're gonna go right into some different DIY recipes and rollers and sprays. And I'm going to hand this off to Amber and she is going to talk about two of our favorite uh, recipes, the Monster Spray and the Boo Boo Roller. Hey guys, uh, my name is Amber. First, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> um, the first one um, I want to talk about is the Monster Spray. It is probably one of our favorite, favorite DIYs in this house because first off, it helps with um, nightmares in my house. It helps spending time with my child and it is a benefit because it's gonna help my child um, with um, going to bed and having a good night's rest. So the first thing that I do is um, I take the witch hazel and uh, I, I don't usually measure it. I'll put about maybe a little less than one fourth in there. Um, and then I will take cedar wood and lavender. I don't have cedar wood on me, but this is what the lavender looks like. This is a bigger bottle, 15 ml. And I will take um, them being lovely, about five drops of each, five to 10 drops of each. And then I will fill the rest with water. And then I will make sure to do it in glass because plastic, I literally, my son decided to get in these, put plastic in it. I came back to the sink and there was a hole in it. So make sure you use glass. <laughs> yes. So um, it's just one of a good, um, it's a good one to have when they're going to bed. We just literally did it before this. It, it helps them. My son just came to me and he was like, can you please, um, can you please spray the beds, the linens, my hair, everything. And that it just, it's going to give them a good night's sleep. So that is that one. The boo boo roller. I don't have that on me right this second, but I put, Oh, well, I'm going blank. Um, why am I going blank? Oh, okay. So I'll put lap. There it is. Thank you. I'll put um, frankincense and lavender. Um, they're both in the starter kit. Um, I also will put tea tree in mine sometimes because that's going to help um, with um, the infection and helping that. Um, 10 mil, 15 drops of lavender, 10 drops. 15 drops of frankincense, oh, it's tea tree in there too, topped with fractionated coconut oil. So you're gonna wanna put those together into a 10 ml bottle, and then you're gonna shake it up slowly like I did with the, um, with the monster spray, and you're good to go. You spray it on there. Um, when it comes to boo-boos, when they first do it, I'll probably do it every hour for the first couple hours, and then, oh, sorry, my, my son woke up, and then, um, and then after that, just apply when needed. Okay, guys, I am passing it to. 
Aubrey. Hi guys. I am going to give you two recipes. The first one is the vampire teeth roller. My daughter is actually currently teething. And so we have just a 10 mil roller and I put lavender, which comes in your starter kit and then copaiba, which used to come in the starter kit. And if you don't have it, you need to add it to your wish list. It's so good. Um, and then I just take her roller and roll it right here on her jaw and then I'll also roll it like down her neck to just kind of help with that like pressure because she's constantly like pulling on her ears and like her cheeks and things and then um I'll also like rub it on my finger like this and put it right in her mouth on her gums I dilute I do 10 drops of copaiba and 10 drops of lavender and then the rest is filled with um, fractionated coconut oil or whatever carrier oil you have to put in there um, and it doesn't bother her at all um, she I kind of like went I started out with only like two drops and then as she's gotten a little bit older she's almost one now um, I'm up to about 10 15 drops for a bottle this 10 mil size and then this snooze in serum is so good we put this is also a great recipe too to put in your kids diffuser before they go to bed. It is 10 drops peace and calming, um, 10 drops valor, and 10 drops lavender. If you're going to put it in your diffuser, don't diffuse 30 drops, but um, it's so good. Yes, and here's the recipe. Thank you, Lisa. Um, we roll this right on her chest right like this so that she is breathing that in I'll also like put it in my hands and then rub it like this on her clothes um so that she is smelling that and then we do that before we like read her stories and stuff so that's kind of helping her like okay like calming down getting ready for bed so I'm gonna pass it off to Christy hi I'm Christy I am going to talk about two rollers that I've used, made and used. Um, the first one is uh, too many treats rollers, um, but it's mainly just for upset tummies, um, no matter what it is. Uh, one morning, my five-year-old woke up and he was eating his breakfast. He was looking a little pale. Um, and his lips a little off color and everything and um, but he was eating his breakfast anyways and halfway through he's like mama and it was just it was um eggs and grits and he's and halfway through he's like um mama my, my stomach doesn't feel too good maybe i just need to eat more food and he was eating away and he thought he wanted seconds and then he's like well never mind i'm just gonna take a shower now mind you when i was pregnant with him every time i felt nauseous the first thing I wanted to do was take a shower. Like that kid loved showers since before he was born. And so that's, and that's what he's done since he was born. Whenever he doesn't feel well, he wants to go take a shower. And uh, none of my kids have ever, whenever they have gotten um, sickness, uh, throwing up or whatever, they never had it for like a less than 24 hours. They've had a 24 hour bugs here and there. Um, so, then but so then this this was about two weeks ago so then i made the the i got a 10 mil bottle roller bottle and i did um uh 10 drops dye dries 10 drops peppermint 10 drops lemon and topped it with fractionated coconut oil i rubbed it on the bottom of his feet when this is when he got out of the shower oh he threw up once when he got in the shower and then or and then whenever he was done he got out the shower, I rubbed it on the bottom of his feet, I rubbed it in a circle around his belly button, um, put him on the TV, within, within an hour, he was out jumping on the trampoline. So I literally deprived this boy of his all day showers that he normally would like to do if he was sick, if he had gone through this before. So he threw up once, got out of the shower, rubbed this on him, and like I said, within an hour, he's jumping on the trampoline like nothing ever happened, and no other kid had got sick um from it or anything like that so and then my second one is a totally toad roller my daughter since she can walk at about nine months old she has gotten warts from what i don't know we have literally tried everything and they she gets warts that don't go away they just literally get bigger and bigger and bigger and like i said we've tried everything and then so i looked up something for warts and um a there's a couple different things. 
that were that um, I seen, but I, but so I decided to put them all together <laughs> because these things are aggressive and they just grow really big. She's got them on her toes and now she's starting to get them on her hands. So I did 15 drops of oregano. Um, that one doesn't stump come in the starter kit, but everything else done. But since I want these are rollers are aggressive, I wanted to get the oregano. I did the 15 drops of oregano, 15 drops lemon, 15 drops thieves and 15 drops frankincense. Now that has three hot oils. So definitely top that with um, fractionated coconut oil if you don't, um, if they're not used to oils. My daughter, she's used to oils and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't have to do that so much, but, and they're aggressive, but all of her warts on her feet are minimizing and going away. And the one on her, the one on her hand literally fell off. This girl has never lost, never lost a, a wart. <laughs> and then within two weeks, it fell off. And I was just, I was so excited and shocked about that. So, and again, that's in a 10 mil roller and you just put it on, you just roll it on three times a day. We just will dab it on because it can come out fast. So you just do a dab and rub it in with your thumb or she'll rub it into another wart just to get it on that one or whatever, but they're all shrinking or falling off. So, <laughs> and she's, She'll be seven on the, she'll be seven on the first. So finally she's getting rid of warts. <laughs> and now I'm going to pass it off to Lisa. I love all of those testimonies, Christy. I love hearing that testimony about your daughter. And yeah, I've had so many friends that have applied essential oils on their skin for different issues and warts have definitely had a positive, um, outcome when essential oils have been used. And I know a lot of people could use this information. Okay. So I'm going to talk about three recipes that are very near and dear to me. Um, we use them regularly. So the first one, and I've shared it a couple of times, um, on Facebook is, let me get to it really quick and share it with y'all. Um, the first one is the Hocus Focus Roller, and I use this every single day. And when we are consistent with using this roller, my little guy who has trouble focusing during schoolwork and settling down during schoolwork time, um, when he has to focus for any length of time, um, when we use this for him with his supplements, um, we see a huge, huge difference. This bro this roller also doubles, it pulls double duty as a, um, a sleep support roller. So you can roll it on them at night, put it in their little hands, have them put their hands together and breathe it in. And it is like heaven. Okay. So that's 15 drops of cedarwood, 15 drops of vetiver, and 15 drops of lavender. Now I recommend for you to go on Google and type in benefits of vetiver oil. You're gonna see some amazing things that vetiver is good for. So how you would use it, you just roll it on the sides of their neck whenever your child needs a little focus, especially on schoolwork. Okay, so elf ears or something that, you know, I also like to call happy ears. Um, there's a lot of different oils that are great for ears. I especially love Melrose and Purification. So put those on your wish list, Melrose and Purification. They don't come in the starter kit, but they are worth the investment to have on hand. All right, so elf ears roller has 10 drops of lavender, Purification, Thieves, lemon, and then just five drops of pan away. And then top it off with fractionated coconut oil. Because it has the coconut oil, it heavily dilutes the pan away. And so when you're rolling it around, it doesn't have, it's not a hot oil. Pan away is known for being a hotter oil for little guys. So putting it with all these other like gentle oils and with the coconut oil, it's not going to be very hot. So um, if they have just a little, they need a little bit of support for their ears, just roll it around their ears. Um, you never want to drop oil down in their ear canal. You always just want to put it on the outside of their ears, down their neck, massaging it down their neck, um, and supporting them in that way. A, a question that we get asked is how often can I do that? Well, when you have an oil with carrier oil, you can do it pretty regularly. I say early and often, early and often. So if your kid comes to you and they're like, oh, my ear doesn't feel good, then you know that you probably want to do it probably about every 
20 to 30 minutes when you're thinking about it, okay? Um, and then you can kind of let it go and trickle off a little bit, but early and often is my uh, biggest tip for you. All right, so then the next um, the recipe that I'm gonna share with you is called the Breathing Batty Roller. And these oils all come in the starter kit and it's gonna help you know, support the respiratory system and healthy breathing, okay? So 15 drops of frankincense, 15 drops of lavender, and 15 drops of raven topped with coconut oil. Now, if you have a little guy, I'm talking about probably five and under, you're gonna wanna probably half all of these recipes. And even if you have like a really, really little guy, you probably wanna do a quarter of these recipes. So this is, these recipes that we're giving you are pretty much like eight years old and up. Um, but they're, they're so heavy, heavily diluted anyway that it's gonna be good for, um, okay for them. So I would start with all of these oils, just start on their feet, start on their back, and then you can go to their chest because you don't want to be overpowering for them, which I don't think it's going to be. Um, I've used this um, respiratory uh, support roller on my little guy when he was about five years old and he did great with it. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing that and I am going to pass it off to Kathy McGinn and she's going to share some frequently at ask questions that we get and she's going to give you your take her take on those and also share with you how you can get started with essential oils thank you lisa oh my gosh isn't this great everybody's sharing what's worked for them and their home and that's amazing to hear such great testimonies especially if you are here tonight and maybe you haven't gotten your kit or you've just gotten a kit and all of these questions flood to us. Even if we got a kit for ourselves, all of these same kind of questions kind of come to the surface about it. So this is great to hear from all these mamas of what they've used with their little darlings that has worked. And so I think this is amazing. Some really great recipes that um, they're sharing with you tonight. So for me, a lot of times, guys, the one thing that I want to say, and I'm going to go over some frequently asked questions, is that when we're talking about the oils, I always tell anyone that's asking me about it is just to look at your labels. Look at what you're using on your children now. Find out what is the ingredients in that and realize that there are some very harmful stuff in that and that there are natural options that we don't have to be afraid of. And if they're younger, maybe we walk into it with a little caution, but I promise you all of the things that they have just talked about and getting started with your children with, with getting some of these toxins out of their homes and off their body and using the natural sources that are available to you will, will give them such healthier benefits and options that you will be amazed at what they will do for y'all. Now, some of the most frequent questions that I get when uh, someone asks me about oiling and their children is going to be, can I use a uh, can I use oils on an infant or a toddler? And just like Lisa talked about, and we've talked about throughout, yes, you can. The important thing is, is for any of you, when you start oiling, and especially for children, like Lisa mentioned, their skin is a little thinner. They're a little bit more sensitive to anything like that. Um, so we always recommend going slow, going low. If you're ever in doubt, I would say dilute like one drop to 30 and rub the bottoms of their feet is a great way to kind of start. Most of the time, the person that helped you to get that, that kit, and I'm gonna talk about the two main ways, um, the, those oils in that kit, just about all of them, there's only a couple um, in one of the kits that might be a little, as Lisa said, hot oils. And as long as you dilute really heavily, especially if they're two and under, um, and then start low, just always start low and you're going to be just fine. There are very few oils that are cautioned. She talked about a couple of those. Eucalyptus, peppermint, because they have a strong smell. And when they're younger, sometimes they're respiratory that just kind of takes their breath away. So you can put that peppermint heavily diluted on the bottoms of their feet and they're going to be just fine. So the, the point of this class is I want you to feel very calm and take this fear. Hopefully some of this will take the fear of the unknown out and realize that these are some really great sources and options to you. 
Um, the other thing I get asked all the time is can I use oils safely for my kids? Absolutely, like I just said, these are natural products. We start out a little slow. Most of the time, the person that helped you get your kit um, is going to give you some really great tips on getting started. But you know what, guys? I always recommend anytime that I have someone that I personally help to educate and, and walk this journey with is to get a gentle babies book. This book is amazing. Every question that you may ever want from your infant to your oldest child will be in this book and it just gives you the confidence of what you're doing and it walks through all these natural options so it's just a really good resource tool for you. So you can definitely oil your kids safely. Again, if they're like under two, I always tell people put about 30 drops to one drop of oil. Start low on the body. If it's a hot oil, especially put it on the bottoms of their feet and there, there you go. And I'm gonna talk about the two kits in just a minute that most people kind of get started with. Can oils hurt my kid or are there any side effects? The great thing is, is no, we just usually say again, so our skin is more sensitive when we're, when we're children, we're hypersensitive to some things, but if you're diluting it out, you're starting very slow, then the reality of it is, is they're not going to have um, any kind of real side effects. Sensitivity would only be really the thing. And like Lisa said, stay away from the chest area when they're really, really young. If it's a very powerful, strong smelling oil like eucalyptus or something like that. So you can walk into this with a lot of confidence and just take that fear out of there that this is really good for your children and you can learn to do this. And whatever kit you decide to get, you just start out really, really slow and walk into as you're oiling and the kids get adjusted. Because as you've heard these mamas tonight, a lot of them use the oils undiluted or not diluted as much once their child becomes used to oiling. And really and truly, that's just a great um, tip for even as adults, I tell people, just start slow and get your body used to those oils into your home and on your body. Now, the really great thing, I mentioned two kits. We have, um, there is a little oilers kit and a premium starter kit. It's the two primary ways, especially if you have children. Thanks, Lisa. The premium starter kit is gonna come with 12 oils. Very few oils in there are hot oils or deleted. So I would say like peppermint, raven, thieves, Lisa talked the pan away. But the person that enrolls you will definitely talk you through that. Those would need diluting, putting on the bottoms of the feet, but the rest of them would be really great. You're gonna get 12 oils. You're gonna get a couple of packs of Ninja Red. You're gonna get some thieves spray. You're going to get a diffuser and you're going to get some fitments. Now out of this one, I'm gonna tell you that lavender, peace and calming, stress away, frankincense, best friends. <laughs> they are going to be your best friend. I just en enrolled someone um, last month. She has some little ones and she messages me every week and she's like, I absolutely love peace and calming. I love it. I will not be without it. So it is amazing and it has all the great oils. Now, if you're someone that you think, you know what, I just, until I get comfortable, um, I'm not really sure about learning the dilution and all of that, then guess what? We still have you covered. It is called the Little Oilers Kit. I believe it has one, two, three, let's six, uh, is that three, five or six, five oils. Thanks, Lisa. So it's got five oils, but here's the thing, guys it's already diluted. You don't have to worry about these oils. You could just take them and roll away on your children. It has two fitments so you can make the little rollers on there. And it comes with the cutest little feather owl diffuser you have ever seen. I love that little um, diffuser. And it's only 135. The, prime, the premium starter kit's 165 with 12 oils. But you cannot go wrong with either one of these kits. Um, you're going to be able to get started oiling, learning about natural um, options in your home, taking the toxic things out of your home. And I promise you, um, when you start to do that, maybe some of the allergies that you're experiencing, you know, helping to have good night's sleeps when we have those little temper, temper tantrums that may roll around. 
um, these oils are going to be a mama's best friend. So you don't need to be afraid of, of them at all. I promise you, there are some of the best things um, that you can bring into your home and do for your children. And they're all natural and they're good for you. They're very good for you. So I want to, um, if there's any questions, please, please, please put it in the chat. Feel free to ask any questions um, that you may have. I also want to encourage you that if you have a friend, neighbor, or sister, or anyone, I say anyone that knows children that could benefit from some of the information that you have heard here tonight, please share this class with them. We only want to bless people with really great information and knowledge so that they know and can be encouraged that there is other options out there and that there are things that you can do for your children that is totally natural and helpful to them in their home. So please share this class. And also we do this every other Tuesday. We do a different theme. Our next class is on November the 3rd. It is going to be amazing. It's so much fun. This time of the year is really exciting for me. I love it when we do these. And it's going to be about Christmas gifts, bundles. We might mention a few DIY things, but um, it's going to be amazing. And I will tell you, last year, Everyone that got a gift from me, I put these bundles together. They absolutely loved it. And I put some thought into it and they had, they loved their stockings because I had all this stuff in their stockings. So um, it's going to be a really great class. That'll be again, November the 3rd um, at nine o'clock. So please put that down on your calendar. You do not want to miss it. And we are so excited that you all decided to join us here tonight. We hope you'll come back every other Tuesday. We change it up every time that we're here. We just want to bless you. And thank you so much for joining in. Lisa, did you want to say something? Lisa, unmute yourself. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Um, I said I stopped the live recording. That was an amazing class. We kept it in 30 minutes and we were pretty compliant. <laughs> um, so I thought it was a great class. I loved it. Um, so now we're just going to open it up um, during this time. We're still recording because we're going to put this on our um, YouTube channel and then our website so you could have access to it. Um, but just open it up to the community and um, our little community. And um, if you have any testimonials that you want to share or questions that you have, um, if you don't have any children, but you're like still working, you know, wondering about something, uh, please feel free to ask or make comments or any questions that you have. I'm going to just open it up. Well, I did my ear this Sunday with Melrose Purification, Frankincense, and Thieves, and did I say Melrose? I already did. The, and Purification, that's what I did. I did it. I started doing it Sunday, woke up, me and Allie both, so we must have been in somewhere where we had some kind of sign of something going on, but um, we were both in the hay fields, but um, I put, when I woke up with it, I did all my vitamins and did all my supplements and then put my oils on there, and I... I mean, my husband let me go back to sleep. Within the four hours, the throbbing was completely gone. It was still a little clogged, but I kept doing it, and I'm still doing it. And it's almost, and within what, it's Tuesday, a couple of days. And they tell you, it's just, it's amazing. Because when you go to the doctor and you get stuff for your ears and the kids, the eardrops, they tell you to do it for seven to 14 days. And if you don't finish it, then it's not going to work for your kids anymore. It's just, it's crazy to me. So it's just really awesome that it works because it's, the throbbing was gone in a couple hours. That's that's great. Yeah, Melrose and purification, even lemon. But um, if you do do lemon, make sure you do it like at night or a couple hours before you go outside. Um, and then also massaging down your throat. Um, that will get your lymphatic system moving. In our group, you can go to like ear support or lymphatic 
massage or something like that. And there is a great video and a great um, information about that. Um, I want to reemphasize that you never want to drop oils down in your ears, just like eardrops. Um, you always want to apply it. You can do it on the lobe, but you never want to drop it down in the ear canal because um, oils um, disinfect and they will draw out the infection through your eardrum and you don't want that to happen. So, um, but yeah, massaging down the neck um, and Panaway is actually a really great oil for draining your lymphatic system. And it's also great for that achiness around your ears. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Carrie, bonus mom. I love that. Uh, yeah, a lot of us are bonus moms and we care about like aunt, we're aunts and grandmas and stuff like that. So yeah, we're taking care of everybody. All right, I would love to hear anybody else's questions or testimonies, anything you want to share about it, like a kid's type information that would be helpful for somebody else. All right, guys, we're not going to keep you too long. I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, I'm going to post the uh, YouTube link. Or actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. So if you are watching live or watching later, we are going to stop the recording.